morning. I'm Amy Griesack, a garden writer in Great Falls, Montana, and the pest patrol expert on plantersplace.com. This morning I want to talk to you about trimming out branches due on fruit trees because of fire blight. Now this spring we had a lovely rain-filled spring that was rather cool, but unfortunately that promotes this bacterial disease. Fire blight is carried by the wind, but it's also even more carried by bees visiting flower to flower. So even after a great spring that got everything going, we're having to deal with some disease issues now. And I noticed on many of my apple trees, apples are failing, the leaves are curling up and dying. And while this isn't the classic symptom of fire blight with that scorched appearance, and so oftentimes black in the, in the branches and stems, We've dealt with it for so many years that I know I need to remove these areas in order to pre prevent the spread this year and also minimize the impact in years to come. So because this, well, these are both affected here, a lot of times you want to prune a full foot back from the infected area, but we're going to take it back to this point and remove, unfortunately, this entire branch. Now, I'm not going to take this branch and put it in the compost pile because of the possible infection. I'm going to need to bag this up and put it in the trash and keep it away from anything that, where it could infect anything else. And in the meantime, while I continue to prune, I wanted to point out that in between cuts, you need to wipe off your clippers with a bleach solution or a disinfecting solution of some sort. This is simply bleach water. You can use wipes sometimes, that works. But whatever you do after every cut, you want to make sure it's disinfected. So looking at this again, it looks like this branch is going to have to come off too. And it does, and unfortunately with apples. This particular tree is called Fireside, which is my absolute favorite type of apple. Unfortunately, it's also very susceptible to fire blight, which is a good consideration. If you have fire blight in the area, you might want to find varieties that are more resistant to it. So looking at the tree, it looks like there's more I'm going to have to remove today, but at least this will give you an idea. If you have fruit that's failing and leaves that are wilting, you have to prune to save the tree. So get your clippers, sharpen them up, have a bleach solution or disinfectant ready, and prune away all that bad looking stuff. I'm Amy Griesack. If you want to learn more about fire blight or pests and diseases in your garden, come see me at Pest Patrol on plantersplace.com.